couple. By now, you probably have a jack-o'-lantern on your porch, maybe one with triangle eyes and jaggy teeth. We met a man who carves intricate and unique faces on pumpkins. Pat Harrison started out as the pumpkin bumpkin, but after years of practice, he's now the Lord of the Gourd. There's a man who comes to our town each year at harvest time with a wagon full of pumpkins and a squash of every kind. The important thing for me is finding the right pumpkin. I look for shapes. I don't like to do your perfect round traditional jack-o'-lantern. I look for pumpkins that already have a shape and a face to them. And then after that, it's all freehand. I use an X-Acto knife and paring knives and clay tools, and I usually have no idea what I'm doing. I just start cutting. I'm doodling with a knife. I just start cutting and whatever happens is what we get. I always have to have a little conversation with it. It's been until it feels right. I always start and I end with the eyes because uh, the eyes to me kind of show what the personality of the pumpkin is going to be. If it's the shape of a pumpkin where the eyes are you know, kind of snarly, then I know it's going to be scary. Uh, otherwise, I'll make it happy or goofy. From there, I go to the nose and the cheekbones and then the mouth. And then I finish with the eyes, uh, doing the final detail to the eyeballs. And to me, it's done when I finally place the eyeballs in it because it, to me, it becomes alive and I don't want it looking at me while I'm carving on it. <laughs> it's like doing surgery on somebody while they're awake. I'm on the road for the better part of uh, two months nonstop. Last year, I did 34 shows in October. I live in Northern Michigan, uh, out in the Sleeping Bear Dunes area. And I mean, this is my home. I mean, we're a more beautiful place in Michigan in the fall. When I'm on the road, I spray mine with hairspray. And the reason being, when you're taking the skin off this, it's like when you cut your finger and you put Bactine on it, uh, the bacteria starts to attack your finger. Well, it's the same thing with a pumpkin. Hairspray's got alcohol in it, and that kills the bacteria, and it puts a little coating on it to kind of help protect it. I do that because I'm in public and people want to touch. If you're doing it at home, you can spray bleach on them. That works really good, or you can rub Vaseline on them. I, I just can't do that because uh, here in public, people touch first, and then they ask me what, what's on the pumpkin. Yeah, it's funny because I get asked the same question by adults and children. They just ask it differently. Adults will say, oh, do you cut yourself? Children say, oh, do you cut yourself? He's a pumpkin man. That's all he wants to be, a pumpkin man. And he spreads his pumpkin seed. The season is almost over, but don't you worry about Pat. In the spring and summertime, he carves watermelon and other fruit at fairs. So it's all.